The southern cassowary is one species of bird that lives in northern Australia and on the island of New Guinea. But they do not look like that. They're like this. Yes, I know what you're thinking. What on earth are these things cassowaries have? And what about those dinosaur-like legs? We'll take a look at these bizarre structures together with an extra bonus fact that turns cassowaries into a pretty unique animal. Cassowaries are flightless birds, so this is not possible. As an ant dwelling bird, they developed some interesting ways of protection. For instance, they became big. Well, not that big. Females are taller and heavier than males. In fact, cassowaries are the third heaviest living bird behind the two living ostrich species. Apart from their size, they've got a very powerful weapon. The legs. Their T-Rex-like legs are equipped with razor-like claws that, well, come in handy since a bunch of primates invaded their homeland and brought with them some other creatures that happened to find tasty the cassowary's eggs. Now let's talk about the cassowary's cosk. Oh no, I'm talking about this cosk. This structure is called cosk, and it's present in several species of living birds. Even some dinosaurs had them. The cassowary's cosk is made up of keratin, the same protein that makes up human nails and hair. Its interior is almost entirely hollow, with some bone-like tissue filling some parts of it. But what about its function? Well, research has shown that there are three main uses for the cosk. First, the easiest one, as a tool for moving through the jungle. Cassowaries wished they had machetes, but they don't. Instead, the flexible but strong cosk turned out to be useful to clear the thick vegetation and move through the jungle. Second, to claw. See, animals have evolved different ways of dealing with hot temperatures, just like dogs' parents or the big ears of the elephants that dissipate heat. The cassowary's cosk works somewhat like the latter. In both cases, the millions of blood vessels become bigger when it's hot, making it easier to cool off the blood and reduce the body temperature. Third, cassowaries also use their casks to find love. Um, something like this. Hey lady, hmm? Mm, you've got that ugly thing up there, just like I do. Wait a minute, watch this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What on earth was that? Sexy low frequency sounds, at least according to a group of hairless primates. <coughs> so, yes, cassowaries produce low frequency sounds to communicate with each other. Scientists believe that the cask works like an amplifier and helps the animals to identify the sounds. And during the mating season, these sounds are key. Move down a bit, and you'll come across this fleshy thing a bag, a pocket, maybe. A <coughs> Never mind. This is called wattle, and just like the cask, it's also present in other birds. A bigger wattle often means a better genetic condition, better resistance against diseases, and hence a better mate. Which means that among cassowaries, size matters. Bonus fact, cassowaries eat fruit, a lot of fruit, and by doing so, they spread seeds throughout their habitat helping trees to reproduce as cassowaries are big enough to eat fruit other animals can't. So much so that scientists have found that cassowaries eat more than 230 species of fruit that can only grow after passing through the bird's digestive system. What a journey. Cassowaries are big, but on land, the African elephant beats them all. Did you know the amazing taxonomic story of the living elephants? Check it out here. Give a like to the video Thanks for watching and have an elephantastic day.